So if you haven't already heard, the 2015 egg hunt for Roblox is going to be hosted on the top games of Roblox. This comes after Christina Chaletsky posted a tweet about it in response to somebody, and it's it, it split the forums. Um, many people are saying that Roblox is greedy and that they're lazy um, for not wanting to make the event themselves, and then you'll have the veterans who step in and say that Roblox isn't that, and that you you always complain about everything and blah blah blah, and then in the middle you just have the people who make a opinion or they make a you know a few paragraphs in their thread, and then both sides decide to go after that you know that person who's just voicing their opinion and say too long didn't read, or the people who are veterans mistake that person who's giving their opinion as you know they just judge them and they put them in the same group as the people who are calling Roblox greedy and lazy. And then everything just falls apart from there. That's how like everything happens. You know, layouts, announcements, uh, updates, everything on there. That's how it happens. So I have a few questions as well as concerns for this thing. I've actually picked out five of them, um, and it's going to be based off of. I'm going to be using the previous events made by developers to uh, uh, to as examples as to why this may not be the greatest thing. So, let's say number one, uh, are you going to be earning these eggs in the event, or are you going to be actually finding them? I know that question must be really easy to answer, and you can say, oh, of course you'll be finding them, it's an egg hunt. But, once again, looking back at the previous events, you may notice that some of the hats at the time, you had to do special achievements to get them. Now, if you're going to transfer that over into the egg hunt, that makes no sense. Because in real life, somebody doesn't say, "All right, do 25 jumping jacks, and then we'll give you this. Uh, we'll give you this egg." No, it's you go around, you find the eggs yourself. You shouldn't have to do anything. Yes, there may be like a little bit of an obby, but it's it's simple. It's not you know. Um, you don't have to kill a player or something or do something really difficult. Um, obbies may be difficult at times, but. You know, at least if it's on one giant map instead of spread out across across multiple maps, if you can't get to one egg, you can just go to another egg. But if we were to say, you know, split this up into multiple games, this brings me to my next point. You're going to be moving game to game. It's going to be annoying as hell. So you're going to have to move from one game to get eggs to another game to get eggs. And honestly, I'd, I'd rather just have this in one big place. Because another great example of how this probably won't work and will probably, you know, turn out to be a piece of crap is the 2014 egg hunt. You put your universe feature in there and look how that turned out. Now, are we going to implement a universe feature into all these developer games? Or are we going to just make it to where each game has an X amount of eggs and once you've found all of them, you go to the next level? Or you're free to roam around all the different games and find the eggs? If you're allowed to just go around to all these different games and you know get them, you don't have to rank up, you don't have to get you know x amount of eggs before you can go to the next level. Then why not just have it in one place? Why add the extra hassle of me having to go from one game to another when you can just put them in one giant game and let me roam around? Because the the funny thing is, you look back at 2013, giant map or at least a, a medium sized map, not as giant as the Witching Hour. Um, but it was easy to navigate and players were spaced out so you could find an egg and somebody else couldn't take your egg unless you were going for that volcano egg or whatever it was, cataclysmic egg. Um, then yeah, you had a small problem. But then 2014 Egg Hunt rolls around and you got these small little terrain generated maps and they're, they're so laggy. Like even in the first level you still encounter some lag. Now I find that funny how the small maps lag more than the big maps. You use your terrain generation and your all your beta features and you think that this is going to be great, but it turns out to be shit. And then you have your original 2013 where you've actually used blocks with studs to build it, and I rarely experienced any lag except for when the volcano went off. But that was just a little bit of a frame rate or a frame rate drop. Sorry, I got my words. Um a few other things. There, there seems to be a lack of good games to host this on that you haven't already done.
because if you look at popular, there's not much really to offer besides Adopt and Raise a Family or Tenor Robloxia games or uh, Gmod knockoffs with the occasional tycoon every once in a while. And then some old game, like, or I shouldn't say some old game, but a game from the past will pop up like Call Robloxia on the front page or maybe Roblox City or something like that, and then it'll get pushed down by other shit. So, what can you do? You'll have to go deeper and deeper into popular, or you'll look in top rated, which is currently being, you know, screwed over by people who are just like botting their games to the front. Um, you know, 100 likes to zero, you know, dislikes, but there's only 10 visitors. It makes no sense. So, where are you going to pick these games from? Like, I, I have. That, I mean, and when I say you pick your games, I mean pick games that haven't already been done. Because you've already done Pizza Place, or work at Pizza Place. You've done Apocalypse Rising, you've done The Quarry, you've done Sword Fight Tournament. Uh, what are the other ones that you've done? You've done Daxter 33's Paintball, Death Run. i um, trying to think of some other ones. Uh, there was Laser Tag. Just trying to think back to the summer games. There was that Marble Run game. You know, you've done a lot of games. You're kind of running out. You've done three of these developer events. So, I mean, where can you choose? And I, this also brings me to another point. If you're going to choose these games, they also have to fit the theme. You can't have, you know, mini game maps. Like, there was something on the forums about Ry Paul mini games and how he has a place called Eggs. So everybody thinks that he's going to be making games for the egg gun. Now, in the event that he is making eggs for the, uh, the, for the place, and they are for his mini games, well, his mini games are in a small enclosed arena where they're constantly changing so it, either the eggs are spawning around the arena in the spectator zone or they're actually spawning in the middle so now you're creating conflict because other users are going to be you know close together they're going to be lo looking for eggs and they're going to be fighting over them see when, when you make the map smaller and you make the eggs spawn less frequent people start to fight for the fucking eggs you look back at 2014 egg hunt because you use the universe feature and you just scrap the whole idea of a big map now you have these small maps and with the eggs spawning in specific locations and there only being like four eggs per level everybody was camping out near those eggs and the people who you know uh, weren't didn't know where the eggs were so they were looking around for them um, sometimes they spawned ran randomly throughout the map but most of the time they spawned in specific places um, let's see what else the theme so we look back at uh, summer games the holiday event and the winter games they didn't really have a, a theme to them for an actual holiday like I know it was called the holiday games but the, it wasn't really focused around Christmas at all it, it just put in a few Christmas hats that was about it but it mainly featured or focused on winter stuff now if if I bring in a let's just use Apocalypse Rising for an example how are you going to make this map themed to an egg hunt? I know it, it's already big and I'm, it's not really a great example. But yes, you got lots of hiding spaces and stuff. But the game itself is a zombie game. So you're going to turn a zombie game into a hunting game. So he'll probably replace the zombies. This is just me speculating if, it, if Apocalypse Rising is chosen. It's already been chosen. It was already chosen, I should say, for the winter games. But if it was, he'd probably make the zombies and the bunnies, or he put eggs around the map, um, or maybe he'll replace them with minions from uh, the 2014 egg hunt and probably leg us all to death. Um, but that's about it. That's all you can really do. You're not really theming the map. You're not. I really doubt Guzmanic wants to go around the entire map and theme each house to say you know a certain color or whatever. However, if you have a big map, well then you can theme it. You're starting from the base up. So, basically, this is what it leaves us with. We we can hope that maybe Roblox will change their mind and make the the event themselves, and we can all hope that it won't be a 2014 egg hunt, or we can leave it up to the developers who are just going to retexture their maps to fit the theme. But underneath, you know, underneath all of that stuff, you're just padding the game. The mechanics are all the same. You're just adding some decorations to it and calling it an Easter event when really it's not. And some of the games, um, you can't really do them because you've already done them or they don't fit the whole idea of an egg hunt. They're either too small or, you know, it just it doesn't make any sense. You're not going to, like, are you going to have 
a murder game and make it Easter themed? So what? As you're being chased by a murder y yielding a fucking knife, you're going to go get an egg? I'm sure he'll replace the murderer with a giant bunny rabbit, but still, the mechanics are still in there. You're just retexturing things. It's nothing new. However, if you have a big map and you're starting from the ground up, well, then you're free to do whatever you want. Because, like, once again, I really doubt that these game developers want to go throughout their entire game um, and basically remodel everything in it to fit this one little theme. They'll do what they've always been doing, and they'll just, you know, uh, work at pizza place, you know, put some snow over everything, put some, you know, snowmen in there, uh, make it snow, you know, that's about it. You're better off just making one giant map out of studs, forget about the generation tool, Get rid of the universe feature. Don't put any fucking player points into it. Just leave it as a normal hunt like you were doing before. You know, put some cool things in there. Like I know in the 2013 egg hunt, there was a special egg that when you went up to it, it reversed your controls. So instead of walking forward with the W key, you had to do it with the S key. You know, and directions were changed and all that. And then you had the volcano where you waited around for it to explode. That was awesome. Sure, you had the occasional obby. But if you couldn't do that obby, then you could just go around and find other eggs. And if you were pissed off that you couldn't get that one single egg, then you would keep trying to get it. However, if you, you know, look at the 2014 egg hunt, when they had the obby for that phoenix egg, well, because of the leg of all the minions because of the king of the hill egg, you couldn't get to the phoenix without dying a few times and walking all the way across the map again and again and just wasting your time on it. You couldn't beat the boss without other people. Once again, you need teamwork for that, which is hard to get unless you have friends on Roblox. Honestly, I don't want to bring my friends onto the freaking egg hunt to help me out because they can barely get onto the servers themselves. Because everybody's joining the game, um, then you had to worry about bugginess and stuff. So that's basically where we're at. You can let the, the, the developers do it, or you can let Roblox do it. And uh, it, you can say that maybe they'll work together to make a place, but now you're dragging people in with different specialties to make it. Y you can bring in like make, may, maybe a, a map developer and a modeler to make your thing, and that would make sense. But if you're bringing in a guy who specializes in zombie games, well, how is he going to help you? Maybe he can code some NPCs for you, but... That's about it. Um, I'm Close to Productions. Thank you for watching.